Okay, well thanks everyone for watching High Seas. Hope you have fun with that one. Today I'm going to do static. It's um, pretty simple, but you've got to get your head around the screen feeder tuning, so we call, which is E A D A A E. It kind of sounds like this. So it's got a nice open D sound, even on its own. Um, static starts with a big run on the G string with the uh, a, D, G and B strings ringing out from the 12th down through, through the 11th, the 9th, 7th, 5th and 4th and ending up on this flat sort of bar of an E chord. So it goes like this. Okay, so on to the verse. The verse is pretty straightforward. You've got a D chord which is just your two fingers on the fifth fret of the A string and the seventh fret of the D string. Uh, that's the note that starts every line. The first uh, line of each verse goes from the D to an F sharp. So it's just uh, two, four, four, zero, zero, zero. It's got a nice ringing out sound. Uh, the second line is the D again, down to an A, which is, um, you don't really play the E string, so it's zero on the A string, then two, four, zero, zero. Third line is B, second fret, D, G on the third fret, and E. So to play the E chord, you've just got zero, two, 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 and then you don't really play the top of E string. And then the last uh, line of the verse is D. And you go into the chorus. So the only bit of the song left to learn is really the middle part where the lead guitar is and the singing stops. Um, it starts with one of your high runs down, which you've seen before. And then it gets down to this point where you do the F sharp chord that you've already done in a stretch. And then it's like actually a typical E minor shape, but it's just the easiest way of playing E in this part of the song. And the stretch. And then up again. And the chorus in the middle bit are A. Another time with the run down. And then we're going to pause on a high F sharp. So it's just, um, you don't play the E string, so it's 9, 11, open, open. And then take it down to a D for the third verse. And then you're pretty much done, you're home. Thanks for watching, I hope it all makes sense. It's pretty complicated when you first start to learn chords in different tuning, I know. There's plenty of songs we've got in this tuning where I've actually forgotten the chords we made up for it, so it's, we've had to bring it back into standard tuning so we can play it. Um, let me know how the chords work for you and if you're having trouble understanding any bit, I'll try and explain it a bit better and I'll try and make these videos better as I go on. Please stay safe everyone, stay indoors, all that stuff, and see you soon.